Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to use Qt resource file and how to add the resource file in our Qt QML application and how to add the resources like images and other files in our Qt QML application and compile with the our application. So let's start and say do some simple basic steps. So just click on the add a new file and select the here Qt and here you will be see the Qt resource file. Now choose and set your file name resource file name so i will set the resource and next and finish okay so your resource file is added you can see here now here we have to add the one prefix okay so add prefix so now let's write here some prefix name let's set res resource okay now add some files your files now add existing file so here i have some image file now select and open okay so your resource file is added and you can see your image file is here okay now here we have to add here in cmake file qt add resource to compile with our application okay so first argument is your application name and here you have to provide the function name like uh, let's add the uh, images okay or icons okay now here we have to set the prefix so what is our prefix is slash you can see here your this is your prefix and in that prefix here you can see your folder image name folder path so now let's write the files so images slash image one dot jpg and add your required file here so let's add all the files and six and seven eight seven and eight okay so files are added successfully here now let's display this uh, image in our qt qml application so now in in main function in main qml now let's use the image tag so now set the uh, your image name image okay here you have to provide the uh, path of your file so you can select the uh, path copy just simply paste let's set the uh, width and height property also so set the width and height property according to parent and height also parent dot height now let's build the application and run it Now let's run the application so you can see the image is successfully displayed this is a six number image you can see here now let's change the image name you see a different image now let's use the second one rebuild and check it so you can see the image is successfully displayed in our application so what we done just some simply select the uh, uh, add new item and select your qt resource file choose and enter your the file name so file will auto automatically added in here so in you can see here the resource file are successfully added here okay now you then hap, then after you, you can you have to add the qt resource you have to use the qt add resource function here the uh, first of all path your application name and here this is the your prefix function name okay so here you have to define the prefix and then after you have to add your file names one by one to compile this file with your application so you can see if i remove right now you can see the let's open the folder okay now in the build directory you can see this is the current application size because this those are all our resources compiled with the our application if i remove this some resources like remove the uh, four images okay so you can see here the size of the uh, size of the uh, application is a uh, 6.04 mb so now here we remove the uh, some images more for some images okay so now let's rebuild the application so you can see the your application size will be reduced so you can see the size was reduced just because we remove the some uh, unused uh, resource from our the application because this all are the resources is compiled with your application so 
what whenever you add your more and more resources with your, in this application and compile with your application so yeah, your application size will be increased okay so by this way you can simply add the how add the qt resource file in your qt application or qt QML application and you can see how to use it so this is just simple you have to just add the uh, use the qt add resource function here okay so please drop your comment if you have any question and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video please thank you